Tavernilia Zian Green B, Accountancy, Business, and Management with high honors. Congratulations! Again, congratulations to our academic awardees. At this juncture, of gratitude from a graduate of Accountancy, Business, and Management strand who received high honors. Ladies and gentlemen, C and Crean B. Tabernilia. To our dedicated school principal, our untiring school teachers and staff, proud parents, fellow graduates, guests, friends, and our online viewers, ladies and gentlemen, a blessed afternoon to all of you. It is without doubt that this academic year is unlike anything we've ever experienced before. Our usual activities and interactions have been thrown into a disarray by this global outbreak. Everyone was greatly affected. Death cases were rapidly rising, face-to-face -face classes were prohibited, livelihoods were closed off, and communities were locked down. And as an incoming grade 12 student at the time, I am sure that this was not how we envisioned our last year of high school to be. But it is definitely an experience and a memory that we will never ever forget. It may be sad that we will not be able to walk on stage and get our diplomas today due to this pandemic. Nevertheless, we are also grateful to our Creator that this day was given to us despite the unpredictable year we all had. We, the graduating class of Batch 2021, can proudly say that we finally made it. Thus, this instance was in the challenging yet fulfilling journey of senior high school. After completing four years in junior high school and two years in senior high school, the seeds we sowed have borne a fruit to which we will be receiving today, our high school diploma. Throughout this journey, we cannot disprove that there are instances that we feel the need to work under pressure because we are frightened that we will be left behind. Since many of us felt this kind of emotion, I want to share what I have read a few days ago by Manny Gutierrez Jr. And the quote goes like this, Everybody grows at their own pace, and you shouldn't compare yourself to anyone. This eye-opening quote made me realize that we should embrace our pace. From then on, it became a habit of mine to take extra time for myself. I began accomplishing tasks earlier than the others do. If any of you feels lost in the face of doubt or uncertainty, or the pressure of starting anew, don't rush. Take a deep breath. You may find that any moment can be turned into an opportunity. Allow yourself to take it easy. Take it one step at a time. Remember that it is better to take many small steps in the right direction than to make a great leap forward only to stumble backward. Just because you took longer than the others doesn't mean you failed. Failure will occur if you will keep on comparing what you have reached and achieved with other people. My fellow graduates, I have, I have a desire that you will take this message of mine to your life. Aim better for yourself. Work for self-improvement. Be progressive and not show to anyone that you are capable to do things beyond your capacity. So, in behalf of Batch 2021 graduates, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to our beloved alma mater, Buenaventura Alandi National High School. Foremost to our school principal, Ma'am Mary Grace Kabili, to all our teachers and school staff who made this virtual graduation possible and who truly help us to harvest the fruits of our labor. Thank you for molding and providing us the skills, knowledge, and attitude we need to succeed in school and later in life. I would also want to thank my family who always supports me in everything I do. My friends and classmates for being with me through ups and downs. 
who became part of my senior high school journey. While this chapter of our lives has ended today, a new one begins. Whatever choices we decided to take in after graduation, I know that the future seems uncertain, and I want you to know that it's alright to be scared, lost, and confused. But remember that one day we will reach our end where all these fears will just part of the process in getting to our desired goals. So try your best to dream fearlessly and be better version for yourself. May we carry in our hearts the experiences we have acquired, shared, and the values we have learned within and outside the four corners of the classroom. To my fellow graduates, a big congratulations to all of you. Good luck, thank you very much, and once again, good afternoon. Thank you very much, Zian.